on me Flow make bitches, I'm on my business Stack chicken like what it's gon' be Crew in the cut, hey, you want us for run When I tell a bit peace Love is love Love is love Y'all, it's your boy Magnus Magneto back again. This time I'm gonna show you guys how to make your top rock look natural. For all my awkward homies out there that just can't figure it out, I got you, I was you, I still am you. Isn't that an inception to think about? I always looked at b-boys and b-girls growing up and I was like, how do you get that freshness, that natural look without it looking like you're trying but it's still looking fresh and cool? and I just couldn't figure it out. So what I've done is I've broken down what I've learned throughout my career into three easy to learn steps for you guys. Let's go. Step number one, body motion. For this one, we're gonna split into three subcategories, your head or neck, your torso, and the body, and your legs. I want you guys to really forget everything you know about Top Rock for a minute. Don't worry about looking hard, about looking fresh, about looking clean. Just focus on these three steps, then we're gonna overlearn them to where they almost feel awkward, and then we're gonna dial it back until it's at a natural, comfortable medium. Neck first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna push your neck out like a bird, pop! And then, channeling your chicken brethren, you're gonna pull it in, pop! Like you're taking a double chin selfie. Okay, and then, push it out. So just your neck, going in, going out, in, out. Get that comfortable. Go way further than what feels natural. Way further than what feels natural. I know you feel silly, it's okay. Do this in your room where no one sees you or do it on YouTube like I'm doing so everyone in the whole world can see you because it's great, good times. Okay, once that's comfortable, a little bit quicker. Go in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Out and and hit, hit, hit. That's the group we're going for. Pa, pa, in, in, in. Now we're gonna use our chest. So our chest, all we're gonna do is imagine we're Superman for a second. You're gonna just take a brief deep breath in. Pump that chest up. As high as you can, like that. Then someone just gut punch you real hard. Pa! You just became a turtle. You're gonna make a, imagine you're making a turtle shell on your back, pop, pop, just like that. Then you're gonna breathe in. Big chest, big chest, and then push it out, pop, turtle, and then breathe in. Superman, turtle, and hit, back, hit. Let your shoulders naturally round with it. Push forwards and backwards. So you're pushing as far out as you can, but again, you're not going out like this, you're not making a big belly. Instead of going chest to the ceiling, diagonal line up. And then you're pushing it backwards, rounding your back. Okay? Front, back, and hit. Hit, 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 and pop. Pop, 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 pop. Front view looks like this. Front, back. Front, back, and hit. Hit. Hit, hit. All right, fam, now your legs. What we're gonna do with our legs is simply go down and up, down and up, really easy. So let's get right into it. Butt shot, boom. All we're gonna do is bend our legs like this, natural, knees together, and then just raise them straight. And then bend down and raise up. And bend, up, bend, up and bend. Hit, 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 and hit. Faster, 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 faster. Get that comfortable to the front. Going feet natural apart now. Bend, up, and bend. Up and hit, 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 hit. All right, now that you have each one of those subcategories, we're gonna combine it into one motion. So you're gonna start bent, everything rounded, just natural position. Then as you strain your legs, your chest is gonna pop out and your neck's gonna come in, just like this. Hit, down, neck coming in as you're straightening, chest coming out. 
leg straightening. So going up, one motion. Ready? Again, going down, straightening your legs as your chest is coming out and your neck starting out. So start with your neck just like this. Oh, like you don't care at all. And then pull in. Straight, pull in. Straight, up, down, up, down. You're gonna feel super awkward, but just, just, just chill for a moment, okay? Just work with me here. Pop, out, pop, out, and hit, hit, hit. This is the groove you're going for. Hit, hit, hit. Sideways view, going out, in. Out, in, and hit, hit, hit. So your legs are popping as your chest is bumping and your neck is bouncing inwards, okay? So start with everything feeling super awkward and big. Bending way too much, chest way too in, neck way too far out, then neck super in, chest super out, legs super straight, and hit, hit, hit. You're not gonna be grooving like that unless you really want to. But the point is, you're gonna overcompensate so then when we dial it back, it's gonna look natural. So again, going hit, 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 hit. Whenever you listen to music, you're on your way to school, to work, you're sitting down, you're waiting at a bus stop, whatever you're doing, just groove. Just make really small, a little bit of a neck, whenever you can. Just train this all the time. Listen to music, just bumping, bro. Just bumping and vibing your chest. Just a little bit. Hit with it. Ooh, that tune's nice. Oh yeah. Just vibe with it. And then your legs. Just a slight, slight bounce with it. And pop. Pop. Too cool for preschool, man. Y'all cats be seat through head now to peace. You've been king. I'm Get it comfortable, man. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, you've been working on your groove for 32 million years now. You're an absolute mad lad, my friend. An absolute mad lad. So now, just tone it down a little bit. Rather than going really big, dial it back. Think like 75%. If this is 100, do like this. Just natural with it. Be calm. Just relax with it. And vibe with it. Boom, 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 boom. This is natural. If you get this groove, then just start leading with it, moving with it, walking with it. Anything, just get it comfortable. As soon as you get that comfortable, that groove's gonna naturally translate into your top rot. And that's what we're going for here. The more natural you get that groove and feeling in your body, not just in your arms or your feet, but your actual body moving cohesively together, it's gonna translate into your top rot and you're gonna start looking more natural, bruh. Literally drill it though. I know it feels like it should be something that just naturally comes if you listen to the music enough and it'll just translate into your dance. Well, for some people, 100%. But for others, like me, not at all. You have to actually drill it. I know it feels weird trying to drill a, something that should be natural to make it natural, but for some people, like me, that's the only way to get it. So you have to literally treat it like power. If you train a flare or a head spin or whatever until it looks natural and clean and smooth, same thing with the top rock. It's just we're lazy. We're like, oh, it's just dancing on top. It should come naturally. Why isn't it natural? Well, it's not natural because you haven't put the same amount of work and dedication into it as you put into your power moves, which is why we need to stand in front of a mirror, listen to our music, and literally just bump. Train it, bro. Train it, train it, train it, train it. Work on it all the time. It's a constant groove. Whenever you hear music, groove. And then that will translate into your top rock and it'll look natural. Drill it. Okay, step number two, your arms. If you're like me, you're terrible using your arms in your top rock, which means you gotta drill it to improve. So, whether you are a T-Rex and your arms are always staying here, very close to your body, or you don't understand your finger use. Lots of people, their fingers, like what is this, dog? have fingers that do stuff. A lot of people have fingers that are like crippled. If your fingers work, use them to the best of their abilities. Or you may be a robot with it. <laughs> <laughs> or 
Or maybe you wanna know how to use one arm. You're Mr. Hey, sick. I already have one arm, but who needs the other one when we've got one working one? Whether any of those look familiar or not, it's all good. But I'm gonna give you guys a couple tips that I've used and drills that have benefited me exponentially in my top rock. Number one, using the whole space for your top rock. Wherever your arm stand is, use all of this. Us breakers love to stay in our boxes with our top rock. It's our comfort zones. We wanna be here. Use all of this. It's gonna help your top rock look way better and way more natural because your arm has more space to go. It's not natural to walk like this. We, when we walk, we use our arms. We swing them, we get natural with it. Same thing with our top rock. You wanna bring your arms and use the whole space around you. So, simple two-step front like this. We're gonna use our arms with an actual drill. Just your arms crossing up top like this, making an X above your head. Don't go here. Again, use your whole space up here. Then pull it all the way straight down through your body, wide, above your head, in a T position, almost like a hawk. Pop, like this, okay? So you're bringing it up here, swinging it wide, and up, swing, up, hit. No more of this. We're not chopping lettuce, fam. It's swinging. Swing it up and down, okay? So bring it up right here and then pull it down and around. Up, down, and swing. Swing, put power into it. Again, not chopping, swinging. Half circle up, half circle down, and hit. Hit, hit. Try with a step. Boom, boom, and hit. Of course, when you get it more comfortable, feel free to do whatever you want with your arms, but just um, what I'm trying to say is, Use circles with your arms versus a chop. You can use chops all day, but get it comfortable first. Get that comfortable arm swing first. Second drill, just grabbing, throwing. Grabbing, throwing. Grabbing, throwing, okay? But what I want you guys to focus on is again, using that full extension with your arm. Not just this, or here, okay? Actually shoot your arm forwards and shoot it sideways, okay? Shoot, hit. Grab, hit, put power into that. And again, not here. We're not top rocking down here. In front of your face, okay? Eye level. Grab, pull in, throw wide. And grab, throw. Grab, throw. Again, notice my arm's up here. Don't be lazy with it. Keep your hands up in that T position versus it staying down here. Grab, throw, grab, throw, grab, throw, put power into it. Boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, ha. Okay, last two things with your arms. First one, complete your movements. Okay, the amount of people I see doing this. Like, bro, if you want to be that cool, chill, natural steez, I get it. But don't bring your hand halfway here. Either connect it or throw it somewhere else. Like you're you're doing just a lazy movement when you do that. Either connect or don't even go there because what's the point of doing a half pose? You know what I mean? Either change it to something completely different, like this. Sure, then you're not even doing it. Or if you're going for the visor pose, then actually hit it, okay? Don't have your hand floating. The amount of time I see people Floating it here, especially with my students, like guys, connect, connect. There's a reason it goes here, yeah? So again, going, hit, actually connect, connect. So if you're doing a crossover step, hit your movement. Make sure your hands connect with your head each time. Throw and connect, throw and connect, throw and connect, and one and two. Three and four. Boom, boom, ha. Shh. All right, last thing with your hands, and I swear we're moving on. I know you must be absolutely sick of me at this point. Your fingers, your fingers, your fingers, your fingers, your fingers. Use your fingers when you talk, bro. Use them. Cast spells, bro. You're a magician. Use that magic. Cast those spells. We have fingers for a reason. Use them.
hit, hit, whatever it is, actually use them. Again, why are we making claws with our fingers? Or like this, or here, or keeping fists all the time. Grab, throw. Grab, throw. You don't know what to do with your hands, that's fine. You'll figure it out later, but for now, just stick with a nice grab throw. Because it's the most clean thing that has the most energy with it. It's the most expressive because you're grabbing and you're tossing, okay? So again, go back to here, but this time really grab, pull in, throw away. Flex your fingers, don't be lazy with this. We're not ET hands casting, throw down. Grab, throw, and grab, throw, and hit, 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 hit. Same with anything, up, fist, wide, throw it, hit, 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 boom, ha, whatever you're talking about you're doing, hit, grab, toss, and hit, and throw. Use your fingers, it adds so much energy to it. Don't be lazy with this, this is the final extension of your body, so actually open it and flex it. All right fam, we made it. Step number three, the last and final one, your legs. The use of your legs in your top rock. Pretty relevant, I know. So the biggest tell to offer top rock is when people lift their legs really high off the ground. Stay close to the ground, it looks more natural, looks more grounded. We're closer to the ground, it's easier to move around quickly. So, a couple drills for that. Rather than going like this, oh my goodness, the amount of people I see bring their legs up like this. <laughs> Yo, keep your foot close to the ground, okay? So rather than kicking up here, kick close to your ground. Heel just off the ground, toe pointed inwards. So don't point it outwards, inwards like that. So you're going kick and step, kick and step, kick and step versus up, here, up, here. Same if we're doing a kick to the front. Don't worry about kicking up here. We're not jumping over a horse like this, okay? Close to the ground, kick and step, kick and step. Keep that close, keep that close. Makes it more natural. Same with our crossover step, don't Go like that, keep it close. Kick, switch, hit, same here. A lot of people like to go. That's totally fine. If you wanna eventually go hit, 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 or something crazy, by all means, but first, get it natural, get it comfortable, get it looking cool, fresh, clean, then flip it. So first, when you're crossing over, keep your feet close to the ground. Just top of your toe down. Heel off, don't worry about bring, well, bringing it off. Cause as soon as you bring it off, you're leaving more and more space for uncomfortability to come in. So kick, switch, hit. My calf and shin, they're locked together. I keep that tight, cause it makes it cleaner. Hit, kick and hit, which makes it look more natural versus it being this out here. A lot of people want to go here, here. Keep it close close and connected. As you connect them together, you're gonna to actually feel it there, which is gonna make your body more comfortable with it, rather than up here, because you don't know where your body is. But if you're here, tight, hit, you know where it is right away. So keep that close, toe to the ground, connected. Weight transferring, okay? This is huge again. A lot of people like to stay right here. Okay, shift that weight over. Just play with shifting your weight over your feet. Hit and hit. Front, again, lock. don't stay flat like this. Use your feet, go to the balls of your feet. Step up, raise that back foot. Lean your weight forwards. You're gonna actually feel the ground when you step and it's gonna make it feel way more natural. Whatever step you're doing, play with that movement. Uh, going out to side, so actually drill this. Hit, I know it feels awkward, but if you get this comfortable, tone it down now. Keep your feet on the ground. Tip, tip, hit, pop, pop, hit. That's where you get that comfortable feeling in. Weight transferring. Same with your crossover. Shift your weight to where you're ending up. Boom, on that front foot. Even though this back foot's on the ground, keep your weight on your front leg. That way you understand where your body is supposed to be, which is gonna make it more natural. 
so that when you're doing it, natural, clean, fast, and smooth. Okay, last thing with our legs, your knees and hips. Your skiing twist, bruh. Don't be afraid to use that. A lot of people like to stay nice front and center. But as soon as we add some feeling into our hips and twist our knees and hips, we get way smoother top rocks. So literally just practice this. Hit, 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 hit. Side, 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 side. So put on a beat and go pa, 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 pa. Like you're skiing. Side, 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 side. And then with your hips, twist. Center, twist, center. So actually push your butt out each side. I know it feels uncomfortable, it feels awkward, but it's gonna help, I promise you. Push, center, push, center, and twist, 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 twist. So apply both of those to top rock. We have first our knees, kick and step, and side, side, hit, side, side, hit, side, side, hit. Side, side, hit. It gets way more natural when we bend. Use those knees. Boom, boom, ha. Boom, boom, ha. Boom, boom, front. Boom, boom, front. Boom, hit. Boom, hit. See that feeling? Gets more comfortable. Hips. When we're stepping back, twist a little bit. Add that twist in there. Pop. And hop. And hit. And hit. Use your hips to twist. It's gonna help you. Pop, pop, pop. Hit and front, hit and front, hit and front, hit and hit. Okay, conclusion. Now let's add our groove into our top rock, our arms, and our legs. So, taking a simple two step, this is what we have before. This is our staple two step. We hit together, step, together, step. Now we add our legs in. We have a bit of a bend. We're leaning into that foot. It's starting to feel more natural. Step, we're staying on the balls of our feet and it's getting more comfortable. Then, if you wanna add knees in, you're welcome to, or just keep it basic. Then add your groove in. Up, front, up front and we're starting to get a bit of a comfortable step now. Boom, hit, boom, hit with the side front. Hit, front, hit, going up, out, up, out, up, out, up, out, out. Adding our arms in. Hit, front, hit, front, hit, front, hit, front, and step, step, step. Step. So you're welcome to do that crazy. Ha, boom, ha, boom, ha. And it's gonna feel like, whoa, crazy over the top. But then what you're gonna do is you dial that down. This is our staple. Then with everything pulled out, feels really awkward. So we balance in between those two. So we're going, hit, boom, hit, boom, hit, boom, hit. So dial back the head, dial the chest down, and we get a comfortable step. Boom. Hit. Another example with our side step. So the basic kick, side, kick, side, kick, side, and legs. Legs. Sorry, using my hands too. Legs. And with a groove. Up and up and up and up and face the side. Hit and feel free to add your knees in. Anything you feel comfortable with. And then, arms. Boom, hit, boom, hit. Really full out. Dial back natural. You see the difference? So the reason we go over the top is because then we understand where our max is, and then we can understand if we go back one or two notches, we'll hit that natural phrase. Rather than being like, oh, we just, this is natural, without knowing, Go too far, then you can reel in a little bit. Again, boom, ha, boom, ha, and sit, ha, ha, boom, ha, ha. Now, what about steps that don't really have a groove in it? So, for instance, crossover. You're not gonna go like that with a crossover. Unless you're in some really slow song where it's like open styles. 
because it's just not gonna work. But what you can do is you can still have an up down rocking motion. So you can still go one and two, three and four. So don't worry about having to have this feeling in all your steps. It's just what adds that natural base to the steps that don't require too much crazy up and down movement. But then the ones that do, for instance, a crossover, just think about cutting it in half, rather than it being this one, two, three, four, one and two, three and four. It can become that cut in half, rather than it being that and count, it can be that base count. One and two, three and four. Still have that feet, you can add a little bit of head if you want. Boom, hit. But as long as you have that dynamics of it, and your weight transfer is gonna look good still. Boom, hit, boom, hit. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed that. This was your boy, Magnus Magneto. If you'd like to see more, please do comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see. Let me know if you like this kind of content. It would mean the world to me. Appreciate you all. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and as always, comment down below if you want to see more. Thanks so much. Brah! So you're hungry. You want more. I was the same growing up as I started breaking, and I'm the same now as I've continued breaking. Which is why I started a weekly newsletter every Monday, Mondays with Magnus, where I'll be sharing anything from breaking to health and everything in the middle that I've found that I can leverage to my advantage to becoming the best human being I can possibly be. To join, all you have to do is email me at magnus.ff94 at gmail.com, and I will see you Monday.